Hey everyone, it's Kristen. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title of today's video, today we are going to go over everything that is going in my little one's Easter basket. My son Riley is 21 months old, so right in that toddler stage, and this is everything that the Easter Bunny is bringing for him. So I'm going to start off with the Easter basket itself. So this basket, we actually got him last year. It was his first Easter and he wasn't really going to remember much. So we got him a couple little things, but one thing that I wanted to invest in at that time was a nice Easter basket. So we did get the basket and the liner from Pottery Barn Kids. And I did have the liner embroidered with his name. And I loved this one. The bunny with a little cotton tail and a bow tie. I mean, who doesn't love a bunny and a bow tie? I know I do. And the seersucker, I just thought it was so cute. So I did get that. And then I also got this basket. The thing I loved about this is that the handle does collapse. So it's great for storage. You don't have this massive basket with this crazy handle that you're trying to store. I like that that does fold down. So I don't know if they're still offering the same liner, but anything that I can find online that I show in this video, I will be sure to link down below. So again, a little bit of an investment, but this is something that he will have for years to come. So that is his basket. And when we get to the end, I'll show you a picture of everything put inside too. We'll start up here. So the first thing that I got him is a pack of these touch and feel picture cards. These are my first animals. They do have some other sets. Um, I know their colors is one. They have some other different topics too for these cards. And I, for the most part, I think he already knows all of these. Um, but I thought it would be fun to do little matching activities where he can put a little stuffed animal or wooden animal, whatever he might have, um, and match it to the animal that is on the card. So this is the little puppy. He has a little, um, kind of like a little velvet nose, really. And then these are cute because they can grow with a child, too. On the back, they have a lot of great facts about the animal that is on the front. Um, just things, that, uh, different topics of conversation and things that you can bring up with your little one as you go over these cards. So, and they're a nice weight too. They're not something that's going to, um, you know, just break and not last. So I got him that. These were $9.99 on Amazon is where I found those. I got this book. It is Bunny Roo, I Love You, and it is really cute. I actually picked this up last year at Walmart after Easter. And so it was 50% off. So I want to say maybe I paid $4 and change for it. So that's another tip too, you guys, after Easter this year, be sure to check your local stores and see if you can find things on sale and just put them back for next year. It's a great way to save some money. Um, sticking with the books, I'm going to show you this one real quick. My little one loves Dr. Seuss books. His favorite is Green Eggs and Ham. And I like to read it in what I think is a British accent. My husband begs to differ. He doesn't know what accent it is, but I have fun with it. So we wanted to add to his Dr. Seuss collection, and this is Dr. Seuss's Book of Colors. And these were on sale a couple weeks ago at Target. They were down to $6 a book for all of the Dr. Seuss books. But check Amazon too, because uh, a lot of times you can get them at a better price point there. The next thing I picked up, and I'm going to show some things too that I've had before that I'm gifting Riley for Easter, so that's another way to save money. If you have things from your past, for example, Beanie Babies, who remembers the Beanie Babies? Um, so I have a bunny, and then I have this little chick. I thought I would do the little, well, maybe he's just a duck. Anyway, he reminded me of spring, and I thought he was cute. So I've got this little guy, um, and he will go in his Easter basket. He's getting another bunny over here, which I'll show you in a minute. What is this guy? Um, don't they say? Don't they have like a name? Quackers? Oh, that's cute. Okay. So he's going to get him. He's just started to get into stuffed animals. That wasn't really his thing. Um, but now he'll pick him up and he'll like give him a little hug and pat him. It's so cute. The next thing that I got that I thought would be super fun is this hand kite. And really this is something that you could make yourself. I actually purchased this from... A store on Etsy. I will link that down below. Uh, if you don't want to mess with trying to make it yourself, certainly go check her store out. I want to say with shipping it was like $11 and change to get this. Uh, but you could certainly pick up the ribbon from the Dollar Tree, from Michaels, um, and get one of these wooden rings and make one of these yourself. Make sure that if you do that, that you do um, seal the edges of the ribbon so they don't fray. To do that, you just take a, like a little lighter. Make sure you don't catch it on fire, but just run it um, ever so lightly over the edge to seal the edge of the ribbon. But 
this is what that looks like. I thought it would be so fun. We're going to my parents for Easter. They have a lot of acres that Riley can run around on and I thought he would love just stringing this along behind him as his first little kite. So I liked that one. Put that in the Easter basket. If your little one is anything like mine, bubbles are a must. He is obsessed with bubbles. So anytime he sees them, bubble, bubble, he gets so excited. So we had to get him a bubble wand. I want to say my husband picked this up from Family Dollar for a dollar. Dollar Tree, Target, Walmart, everybody should have these. This is the long one with the long wand on the inside. Uh, this little guy I thought was so cute. So it's this little wooden truck. And I actually picked this up from a thrift store. Riley had found a few little wooden um, cars and trucks and things. And they gave me all three for a dollar. So 33 cents for this cute little wooden truck. It's adorable. Um, he loves little things like this. So I thought I would include that. You guys definitely check out your local thrift stores for some great ideas of things for your Easter basket for your little ones. Depending on their interests, you can find all sorts of things that would be perfect to tuck inside their baskets. The next thing that I have, I actually made this. Um, so the eggs, I bought unfinished wooden eggs from Target in their Target dollar spot for $3. And then I got the paints from Michaels, painted the eggs, and made it into a color matching activity where I have a little color uh, dot of the same color down below. So a fun little activity for Riley, and it's a super cute decoration too. If you guys missed that video, I will put a link to that video up above so you can see exactly what supplies you need if you'd like to recreate this at home. The next thing that I picked up is this little boo-boo bunny. If you guys are familiar with these, they take a little washcloth and turn it into a bunny. I think it is adorable. And this one actually comes with a reusable ice cube in the middle too. They have so many different colors to choose from. I did find this from a seller on eBay with tax. I think I paid $5 and some change for it. And I thought this would be perfect. It's so perfect this time of year to put in an Easter basket. And what a useful item too. If he has boo-boos, he can go grab the boo-boo bunny. So I did pick that one up. The next thing that I got, and again, I'm talking about thrift stores because you guys, this is a Vegas, hopefully I'm saying that right, um, brand truck. It is so cute. And I found the same truck listed on Bella Luna Toys for $26. I found this at the thrift store for 50 cents. I just knew it was good quality when I saw it. Um, you know, you can just tell sometimes by the feel of things like this is something nice. So I picked it up and then later discovered it online at that store and was very happy with the fact that I saved so much money on that. So uh, again, just keep an eye out at your local thrift store for some goodies. You never know what you might find. Uh, Riley loves trucks and cars and planes and trains and all those things right now. So you'll be super excited. And I love that it's open so little hands can get around there too. I'm going to tuck a couple of these packs inside his Easter basket. My mother-in-law picked these up. He hasn't shown interest in fruit snacks yet. I did try not too long ago, but he just, something about the way it feels. You know, they feel kind of slippery, kind of different, and he just didn't even want to really touch them. So he might not like them, but they have little bunnies. And so I thought I would tuck a couple of those inside. I'm not putting any candy in his basket. So this is an alternative to that. Moving right along over here, I have this little Zoom Zoom. I had picked this up a while back from the Dollar Tree. They had some in. This is little Piglet from Winnie the Pooh. It was a dollar and he likes little guys like this. So I thought it would be cute to put a little Piglet inside there. This is actually a re-gift to him, like he just had this before, but it's maybe been a year. I don't know. It's been a really long time. We took this toy away. We gave it to him way too early, and we just ended up with all these little pieces all over the place. So we tucked it away, and now it is coming back out because I think now he's more into the shape matching, color matching. So each one does have a different shape on the bottom, and then you match the color lid to the egg on the inside. Super cute. You can hear the little squeak, they squeak too. Uh, again, different shape on the bottom. So we're gonna bring this back out. I think he'll be excited to see it again. This guy actually, um, we've had forever. I don't remember when I got it and who gave it to me, but somehow I got it for one Easter and he is bendable. So I thought it would be kind of fun. I'm just gonna kind of tuck him 
uh, on top of his basket and, and have him hanging on maybe to the side of the basket catching the fly ball there. So same kind of thing. If you guys have anything from your past, things you used to decorate with, things that are appropriate for little ones, uh, it doesn't hurt to go through those because they're new to them. Uh, so that's exciting. I also picked up a movie. I thought it would be nice to start a Walt Disney, a, um, a Disney movie collection. So I say start and kind of struggle with that because I know I have tons of movies, but they are in VHS from when I was little that my mom's given me. And so now I think it's time to move the switch, uh, switch over to DVDs. Um, really, it should be Blu-ray. We don't have a Blu-ray player right now, just DVDs. So I thought I would pick this up. I actually got this at the thrift store too for $1. So you guys keep an eye out there. That's a great way to get some movies for your little ones. I have been wanting to get Riley some Hulse Tiger wooden animals. These are a, um, Hulse Tiger is a German company and they make these beautiful wooden animals that are all non-toxic, safe for your little ones. They are a nice size um, width wise, so they all stand up. They are hand painted, they are just adorable. So I wanted to give him the bunny, of course, for Easter. And we have a couple neighborhood cats that we recently adopted. And so adopted meaning we are the ones that feed them. So they hang out behind our house and one looks like this with the gray tiger in white. And he gets so excited when he sees the kitties. So I wanted to give him the kitty one too. Quick story about these. Uh, these are nice quality pieces. And so they are kind of an investment when you think about how much they are per animal. Um, by the time you pay for shipping anyway if you're lucky enough to have a store nearby that sells them and save on shipping it's not too bad uh, I will link them down below but a lot of times they're in the eight dollars up to twenty something dollars per animal so they are something that I would suggest you know one or two per occasion Easter birthday Christmas uh, different things like that that you might celebrate I was lucky enough to find a lady that was selling a whole bunch of them on Craigslist. They were her kids and she was selling them. I ended up getting 26 of them for $75, which if you break it down per animals, less than $3 an animal. So I was really excited about that. So I'm just going to start gifting them to Riley um, one holiday at a time. So um, again, another way, great way to save some money on things, you know, just check if you guys are okay with with um, previously loved um, toys for your little ones, make sure you check out Craigslist, um, eBay, Facebook Marketplace is such a great place now too to find things. So I just encourage you to keep your eyes open because you never know what might get posted. The last thing that's going in the basket is this little shirt and I think he's so cute. Look at the bunny with the sunglasses saying hip hop. Okay, he's adorable. Um, has a blue sleeve there. I think this one is red. So cute. I found this on Macy's. It is the First Impressions line, which I think is their brand at Macy's. And I got it on sale for $4.99. So keep an eye out for their sale prices there. But I just thought he was so cute. So I picked that up. And that is everything, you guys. Um, I did want to mention really quickly, uh, if you do end up getting things from um, from thrift stores or from yard sales or whatever it might be, one thing I would suggest doing, I have a spray, and if you guys are interested in knowing kind of what goes in it, comment down below, uh, but it's a great way to just make sure that you are cleaning your toys that you might pick up from other places, and it's all natural, it's I want to say it's like water and vinegar and lemon essential oil and there's another essential oil maybe something else um but if you guys are interested in knowing what that is let me know i spray it on everything that i pick up used whether it's a board book uh, whether it's a wooden toy even a dvd case whatever the case may be uh, case may be um it's just something nice to have on hand just makes me feel a little better about spraying it down before i hand it off to riley so all right, this is everything that is going inside and I will show you what it looks like when I am done. All right, you guys, here is the finished basket. I am so excited with the way it turned out. I think it is absolutely adorable. We've got our cute little Benty bunny up top catching that fly ball. 
everything else is tucked in so nicely. I do have one wrapped item. That is this box right here. This has the Hulse Tiger animals. That is the bunny and the cat that you saw earlier. Riley really discovered the joy of opening uh, opening wrapped gifts at Christmas. So I thought it would be fun to put one special item wrapped inside of the Easter basket. So that's what we've got in that little box. Everything else that I showed you before is tucked inside. I also wanted to share with you guys that the coupon code, the discount code for Porch Lemons and Pearls is still live. The information can be found down in the comments below. Please be sure to check out that site. She has amazing things for your little ones from stuffed animals from Hazel Village to beautiful swaddles and quilts from Clementine Kids. If you have wood toys like any of these little ones I have in here, she has a great wooden toy salve uh, that is featured on her shop as well. So please be sure to check that out. The coupon code is for 20% off anything in the shop and that is good through midnight on Easter. So still some time to take advantage of that coupon code. But this is everything. I can't wait to give it to Riley. You guys, tell me what you guys do. So we are going to be traveling for Easter and I don't wanna pack everything up and take it with me to turn around and uh, pack it back up and take it back. Um, I'm trying to decide what we wanna do. Do we wanna give this to him before we leave? Do we wanna wait until we get back? Do you guys take things with you when you travel and give it to him while you're there? I know he'll be getting things from his grandparents while we're there, so it's not like he won't be getting anything. It's not like he really knows when the day is either. Like, to be honest, he's 21 months old. Um, but you guys, comment down below. Let me know, what do you guys do when you're traveling for holidays? I'd love to hear. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And if you are not a part of my YouTube family, please consider hitting, hitting that subscribe button. I would love to have you a part of my journey here. Thanks so much for taking your time to watch. I appreciate each and every one of you. And until next time, bye.